we're back. All right, guys, we have standards video for our team events on Sunday, beginning with Teams RX event one, 12 minute clock. Each member completes a 500 meter row, 100 double unders, and then it's AMRAP handstand push ups as a team at the end. So it's in waterfall fashion. Imagine three other teammates lined up behind Taylor there. Taylor, three, two, one, go, begins his row. Once he finishes his 500 meters, he can lock the handle in, unstrap, head over to his jump rope. Next member gets on to the erg, begins their 500 meter row. Taylor begins his 100 double unders. There's 100. <laughs> Taylor finishes his 100 double unders and then goes to the holding pin, which will be under the rig for this particular setup. While his next teammate, the second teammate in line, had finished their row and then they're on their double unders. And then finally, everyone, fourth and final person, finishes the double unders. They come over. Now we can begin the handstand push ups. Only one athlete working at a time. We're gonna use the same setup here as Saturday. We have 25 pound plates and an ab mat. You can do strict handstand push-ups. You may do kipping handstand push-ups. The standard is full lockout at the top, feet within the hands, hands on the plate. Make sure that nothing's touching the wall but the heels. Get that head through. Good. When Taylor comes down, if he wants to bring someone else into the handstand push-ups, he comes over, he tags, and then they come in for the handstand push-ups. Always working with the tag. We're going to be doing a lot of tagging all day today. Much tagging. Oh. Getting a phone call right now. Ignored. 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 Sorry, Samantha Lane. All right, event two for, no, I tell you what, let's go to team scale. Let's stick with event one. So team scale, Taylor's rowing again. This is each member in waterfall fashion completes a 750 meter row, 100 single unders, 30 total one arm kettlebell push press. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Can you grab us a 35 pound kettlebell, please? So Taylor finishes his 750 meter row. He comes over to his jump rope. He begins his 100 single unders. While he's doing his single unders, the next person is obviously in and rowing. Once he finishes his single unders, he'll head over to his kettlebell, which will be provided by Alex Anderson. And he's gonna complete 30 total one arm kettlebell push press. Same standard as yesterday, the thumb begins below the clavicle, below the collarbone each time. Dip drive, lock out at the top with the bell, back, arm extended, head through, everything extended at the top. You may switch arms as needed with that kettlebell push press. The time on this workout finishes once the fourth athlete completes his or her kettlebell push press. The time cap for the scaled team event one is 12 minutes as well. So you're gonna have to push that row. All right, let's talk event two for Teams RX. This one we're breaking into two partners. The partners must be male and female on this. So Taylor being the male partner working with his female partner here will complete 15, 12, nine muscle ups and burpee box jumps at 24 inches. Three, two, one, go. Athlete may begin his or her muscle ups. <laughs> Same thing, if he wants to change out with his partner, he'll come down, he'll tag his partner in who will be standing on a 45 pound plate. He will then take her place on that 45 pound plate while she does her muscle ups. Once the muscle up set is completed, the set of 15 will come over to the box and we'll be knocking through the 15, 12, 9 burpee box jumps. Same standard as yesterday, chest to deck. And then you can jump onto the box laterally or you can go chest to deck and you can obviously turn, jump up onto the box, 
You can step down, you can hop down, whatever you'd like to do there. RX athletes will need to jump onto the box. There will be no step ups, must jump. Once the 15, 12, nine muscle up burpee box jump is completed, the other two partners come into the workout and they will complete 21, 15, nine chest to bar and burpee box jumps. Chest to bar standard, arms long at the bottom, Use any means necessary to bring that chest up to the bar. You may butterfly kip, you may conventional kip, gymnastics kip, strict pull-ups, butterfly kip, whatever you'd like to do there, bicycle kip. It's all deadly. 21, 15, nine on that as well. You may break that up between you and your partner however you would like. For instance, Taylor may, might do 15 of the chest of bar pull-ups and then tag his lady friend into the workout and she will complete the six chest of bar remaining. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, theoretically. All right, chest to deck for the burpee box jumps and then jumping onto the box at the top. There is no jump clap here. It's just getting up onto that box, standing tall and then coming down however you'd like. Good. I believe the, yes, the time cap for that one is 12 minutes as well. 12 minute time cap for event two. Gonna have to be moving. All right, let's talk teams scaled event two. Two partners working together, together to complete 21, 15, nine pull-ups and burpee box jumps at 20 inches. So to begin, we begin with pull-ups. Pull-ups here will be long arms at the bottom, chin breaking the horizontal plane of the bar at the top, butterfly kip, gymnastics kip, whatever you'd like to do there. Burpee box jumps are the same as always, chest to deck, jump onto the box at the top. Scaled teams may perform step ups if they wish. Both feet must be onto the box at the same time standing tall at the top of the step up. Once those two partners complete that, the next two partners come in and will perform 21, 15, nine jumping pull-ups and burpee box jumps. Yeah, just go with that short pull-up bar behind you. <laughs> All right, so this isn't the exact height, but the height we're looking for is with the athlete standing tall, arms extended, the bar should be at or above the wrist level. We'll start with long arms at the bottom and then jump and pull over at the top, getting that chin over the bar. Returning to long arms every time before beginning that next rep. Perfect. And then burpee box jumps again for those two partners. Yeah, lots of, lots of them. Good. Can jump or step, both are good, excellent. That as well is a 12 minute time cap. Let's talk event three. Event three, you have, let's talk RX first. You have six minutes to establish a team total for max snatch. We'll have a men's bar set up preloaded at 135 and a women's bar preloaded at 85 pounds. One athlete snatching at a time, you will have one judge. So it's gonna be important that you communicate with your judge what weight is on the bar and make sure that you guys agree with what weight is on the bar. Also gonna be important that you adhere to the one person snatching at a time rule. The judge can't watch two people at once. Three, two, one, go. You may use any means necessary to snatch that bar up overhead. You can power snatch. Standing tall, waiting for your athlete to give you that good symbol. You can full snatch. Good. You may split snatch. Good. You may also press out. You can't even press out when you try. <laughs> good. Any means necessary there, as long as the barbell comes, does not come in contact with the head on the way up on that press out or anything like that. After the six minutes, we'll, we'll say this, let's say you finish your snatch a few seconds early. All team members will put a hand on the bar or on the plate. 
And then as the time expires, three, two, one, go. They're out the door. Going to go on a little yog. RX teams will be running down to a burden. That burden, here's the release party for you. That burden is a sled, and it will be loaded with 115 pounds of weight. That is two 45s and a 25. The team may begin pulling the sled back up to the gym once all four team members arrive and touch the sled. So before that sled can move from where we'll have it staged, all four team members must arrive to the sled and put their hands on it. It is first come, first serve for the sleds. All sleds have very similar surface areas and very similar weights, uh, but they are first come, first serve. Once you get to your sled, you can begin to pull back up to the gym. You may pull any way you want as long as you're using the straps. You can have one athlete pulling. You may have two athletes pulling. If you can figure out a way to have three or four pulling, you may do that as well. But you may only use the stock straps that are given and no one may touch the sled to push it up or to carry a plate that's on it or anything weird like that. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Our team scaled. We have six minutes to find a team total max deadlift. You will have a barbell, a men's barbell preloaded to 135, a women's barbell preloaded to 85. The deadlift begins with bar on the floor. We'll stand a full extension of knees, hips, and shoulders getting back behind the bar at the top. Good. You may not sumo deadlift. You may not do any sort of unconventional deadlifting. Arms must remain <laughs> outside of the legs for the deadlift. Same rules there as the six minutes expires on the scaled team max deadlift. All team members must have a hand on the bar. And then when the time does expire, they are off on their run. Uh, we have added a twist to our scaled teams. We are going to have a little bit of a burden for you guys come Sunday. Uh, it will not be a sled, but you will have a little something to carry back up to the top of the hill. Any questions, Tay? All right. If you have comments or questions, leave them as a comment on our Facebook post for this video.